scouts from around the world have saved and prepared for this for years. But the World Scout Jamboree in South Korea has been plagued with problems from the start. Now a searing heat wave will be followed by a typhoon, prompting a mass evacuation of the site. We will secure as many administrative and private educational facilities as possible in the metropolitan area to provide comfortable and safe accommodation for the scouts. It's this tropical storm that hit Japan over the weekend that's now making its way over to South Korea. But even before the typhoon mornings, UK and US scouts had already pulled out. 4,500 British scouts were transferred to hotels in the capital, Seoul, on Saturday. Leaders said the heat, insufficient medical facilities and dirty bathrooms like these made the campsite a health risk. Parents we've spoken to back here in the UK have been told by the scouts not to do interviews with the media. But via email, we've heard a range of views. One mother said the situation has left parents at home feeling absolutely useless. While another mother said she felt the UK scouts had pulled out of the camp too early, only to be moved to hotels where they're sitting for hours in lobbies because there aren't enough rooms. The UK Scout Association said the relocation to hotels will have cost well over a million pounds and will have an impact on the activities it can afford for the next five years. But some believe the reputational damage could last even longer. I think it will be incredibly hard for them to regain the trust unless they approach it incredibly transparent and just admit their fault and how they will improve for the future. Parents are a very difficult audience to regain the trust from. As thousands of teenagers are now moved to safety, some will question whether the site was ready or suitable for them to be here at all. Becky Johnson, Sky News, 